Hello everyone and now welcome to game one in a series between Azubu's top versus Storm's Rex here on Achillean Waste. Top spawning as the Red Terran on the top left hand side of the map. Meanwhile, Storm's Rex spawning as the Blue Zerg on the um Blue Zerg on the bottom right. So it is gonna be a Terran versus Zerg matchup here on Achillean Waste. Now Azubu's top, Azu top originally part of Team OGS moved over to Team Azubu after I believe the OGS team had disbanded. Don't quote me on that. It's been quite a while since I've been trying to keep up with StarCraft news and news of my newborn, which will be coming out l later this month. Um, at least that is what all the doctors tell me. Um, I will. I would say soon. But then again, Blizzard soon versus real life soon is all rather different. No set delivery date or due date, but I will keep you guys posted. And then I'll most likely be taking a little bit of a short hiatus before coming back and giving you guys um, more casting, casting goodness. SCV is currently just mining away as Top is looking to go for what looks to be a command center first. So top being extremely aggressive with the command center first, and it will be rewarded as Rex is also going for a hatchery first. Now this is interesting that what we see from Rex. Rex is scouting out with these overlords, but not doing it in a direct pattern. He wants to make sure that the overlords can reach their, com uh, reach their location safely without getting shot down by Marines. Now, little does he know that there are no Marines on the field yet, and there will not be mar any Marines, at least for the next 80 seconds, as it will take time for this barracks to be completed, followed up by the actual training of a Marine. Overlord now on the way, perhaps will park itself off over here to keep track of this geyser. Meanwhile, another Overlord can park itself off right here, and then keep track of when this natural expansion will be taken. SCV now on the move out. The SCV scout is a bit later um, than I would have expected, but then again, this is all be this is all because of this early early command center being built here up on the high ground. Drone now making its way over. SCV sees the drone, goes, you know what? I can't really do anything to that drone. Let me pull back, as we are looking to see what Rex is going. No gas, heavy drone saturation here in the main base which means that we will be having heavy drone saturation here at the natural. Also, the next few units coming out will determine whether a third base will be established or if we are going to be going into uh, perhaps Zerglings or Roaches. Still no extractors though, as we are crossing nearly the 4 minute 30 second mark and Rex just trying to take control of the field with a handful of Zerglings. Bunker is nearing completion. Orbital Command should be lifting off and landing here as we are already going into a factory. And then, oh, are we perhaps going to be going into a reactor as well? Um, yes, we are. So this is going to be um, Command Center first into Reactor Hellions. Nothing too unheard of as Top is currently sitting behind 24 to 36 supply. 25 workers versus 20 slight slight advantage for rex even though that there are mules in play and now top never one to give up an economic advantage setting up a third command center three command centers for top this is going to be a fast three base for top compared to rex's two base only right now as drones are now making their way down to the low ground what is this follow-up play going to be? That is the question. Not that many Marines. We are going into a tech lab on the factory, which normally means siege tanks at this point. And the siege tanks would actually surprise me just a bit. We haven't seen any indication of hydralisk or roaches. So why would he necessarily want siege tanks just in case he wants to defend anything here, which a lot of Marines could definitely do. Roaches are now being trained. You can see the third command center is already halfway done did the overlord spot it no it has not and that is still potentially game changing so far rex thinking that he is ahead on bases little does he know his opponent already finishing up his command center will be able to upgrade that to an orbital command doubly train up here at the natural expansion 
and then when he finally feels safe, lift off and land with very good SCV saturation at his third base. Meanwhile, Rex and Top seen at a 13 or 15 supply discrepancy. Engineering Bay is now coming in and Top's timing on this attack. We should see a lot of barracks thrown down in addition to perhaps um, one starport and then trying to get a lot more um, a lot more medevacs or we could just see a straight up marine siege tank push that would be very very effective you can see that there's one siege tank and a, a factory and a barracks there you do see a double refinery and now taking up of the third base already this is potentially huge as top hoping that the siege tank on the cliff here is more than enough to clean up any roaches and zerglings that try to run by. No level 1 weapons upgrades though, as the siege tanks are just pushed back here and should be able to take down any roaches if they try and test that front door. Four base or three bases to three are ready as Top now looking to saturate his own third base and he just wants the extra minerals. He could just call mules down over here at his third in order to make sure he doesn't mine out his main but that doesn't seem to be his agenda at all. 65 supply as the roaches try to push their way in. Two, one of them quickly destroyed if not two. Zero kills. Yeah, two kills by that siege tank. Nice little bit of splash damage there as the roaches now are in retreat. Queens laying down creep tumors, glial reconstitution, and muscular augments are being researched. No, we are now going into groove spines instead for that range upgrade. It looks like Rex feels comfortable enough with how much creep is on the field in order to get that movement speed advantage. You got to remember that the, the movement speed advantage on Hydralis not as fast as simply moving on creep so rex can save the resources just spew creep all across the map and then it will actually be better than the muscular augments here we go bunker second bunker now coming into play we can see hydralis being added here and i'm not quite sure what the hydralis are quite for yes i know they're there for dps i know that they have superior range to roaches but I don't really see a, a necessity for them just quite yet. The Hydralisks are rather um, rather light units and that they cannot take that much damage. The Roaches take 65 more points of damage and I believe also have an additional point of armor. And move faster off of creep. So let's see what will be happening here. Are the roaches going to be able to slip by? Oh, one roach takes a bit of damage. Hydralis could take down the medevac. One, two, three. Oh, muscular augments has not been completed. Are the hydralis going to be able to get there in time? One, two, three. A huge loss by top there. As top loses a nearly or completely full medevac. And that would have been rather painful. All right, that plus one range really helping out as a second medevac now on its way out across the field. It is going to be spotted by the Zergling here. Not quite sure why this Overlord is here instead of down over here. It would spot this medevac ever so quickly as the Roaches are now looking to push through and stop this third base from mining. All right, the medevac afterburners are going to be ready to go. Where are they going to be going next? What are they going to be doing next as the Roaches try and take down more SCVs. No real luck there. Another round of roaches now making their way in. Metavax roaches now pushing through. This is not looking good, especially with siege tanks up on the high ground, weakening many of those units. Meanwhile, a Metavax just simply doing a slow flyby into here will be able to drop off in the fog of war, and Rex does not know about these units. He was not keeping track of the minimap, and the Marines, who are now upgraded at 1-1, with no combat shields could look to take down a lot of drones there you go drone after drone has fallen already six worker kills versus four all the roaches are now being forced to pull back here as the medevac gonna pick this all up and get the heck out of dodge only the drop here at the fourth base the destructible rocks have yet to fall the marines may be able to get a little bit of superficial damage onto this hatchery first Hydralists are now making their way over. The Marines could stim. And yes, going to try and focus down a couple of those Hydralists. One, there goes one. There goes another as the Medevac now picking off and leaving only to get shot down. More Hydralists there. A third base attack now coming in. Top just constantly transitioning into another drop somewhere else. 
and he is really doing a lot of cleanup as the Marines now looking to take down more drones. No, the drones able to retreat as now they are going back up onto the natural expansion ground here. Workers are getting killed left and right down to 13 over 24. And now another drop here only to get shot down again. Harvester count 81 to 64. Top with a much, much stronger economic advantage, it appears. And the army supplies are about even. Let's take a look at the income. Terran much higher, especially with the help of those mules. Very heavy saturation over here. And now we see another base being taken up by Top. So Top sitting up on four bases with four sets of mules to call down nearly simultaneously. And Rex needs to close this door before Top just gains too much of an economic advantage. 1-2 upgrade, soon to be 2-2 two, two, with eventual 3-2 on the way. Roach is sitting at 2-2 two, two, and Hydral is sitting at 2-2 two, two, obviously. As we could be seeing our next engagement here. There you go, there's the engagement. Hydralis and Roach's siege tanks are now looking to siege. Are they going to back off in time? Yes, they are as the Marines now looking to clean up all of these creep tumors. Widow Mines. Now backing off, siege tanks are ready to go. We see eight siege tanks now on the move. Where are they going to be pressuring as we see a double drop coming in? Top looking to drop inside here. Oh, Medivac gets shot down without any damage. Meanwhile, coming in across the center, the Marines and the siege tanks are clearing out all of these creep tumors here. And another drop happening at the five o'clock position. Main attack force looking to take down the creep tumors as the drones are simply all falling. Queens, Medivacs, Hydralis cleaning up this drop here but what is this all for naught as top now takes whoa top now takes the high ground location here and is now simply destroying all these units however the roaches may catch those marines out of position siege tanks up on the high ground is it going to be enough siege tanks trying to take down um, the spine crawlers instead of take going after units and rex actually trading extremely well here except for the number of medevacs still on the field Hydralis are not upgraded that, or Hydralis actually upgraded pretty well now, seeing that 2-2 compared to the Marines who will be 3-3 in just a second. All right, there goes another siege tank. Down it goes. Both sides sitting at about even losses and about even supply. This is looking very scary for either of the players. It's going to really come down to position coming in the next fight as top. I would still have to give him a very, very small advantage over over Rex right now, but Top is looking looking at least vulnerable in the upcoming fights. Here we go, Marines cleaning up more creep tumors over here at the nine o'clock center location. Another drop now coming in, but it is intercepted and destroyed before any real damage is dealt. Marines now looking to hold the center location here. And what is gonna be happening next? Top now taking a small a small supply advantage away we are going to be getting up to 100 and maybe 20 or 130 supply in terms of army as we now see an engagement however rex fighting away from creep the roaches and the hydras moving simply too slow as the siege tanks able to defend this base here and now with a planetary fortress marines and medevacs looking to push forward hoping to catch Something off over here. The Marines are upgraded 3-2. We are now going into the Terran building armor. The Neo Steel plating for an additional plus two armor, making planetary fortresses nearly indestructible from um, Zerglings, especially if SCVs are constantly repairing. What is this next engagement going to be? More and more Marines taking down multiple creep tumors. Infestors could land a fungal growth or two. Is it going to happen? 190 or 196 versus 200. Rex coming back strong, but another walk in drop here. But Rex may have overreacted with too much of his army. Back down over here, you can see Overlord has, getting shot, has gotten shot down here. And are we going to see perhaps more units fall? Transfusion is going to try and hit. Siege tanks are in position. You can see the siege tanks are going to be defending here as the Hydra is now taking a bit of damage. More Marines now looking to come in. And all of these Marines on the far side of the rock still dealing a lot of damage. A beautiful fungal growth by Rex. But it may be all for naught though as Top loses a whole bunch of Marines in just a matter of seconds. However, more reinforcements still looking to reinforce. As we see another fungal growth only this time hitting two of those Marines. Hitting more Marines there. And is it going to be enough? The Ultralists need to get up front. Infestors do not have enough for a fungal growth as the Broodlings come swarming out of that hatchery. Roaches now trying to push their way out. Ultralis getting in some easy shots, taking down one siege tank, two siege, three siege tanks in a matter of seconds. 
But the all the ultra list now taken down as we are now going into a much much larger army by top Rex is unable to reinforce as top still has about a 7,000 resource bank. 7,000 resource bank, nearing maximum supply. Rex needs to land some beautiful fungal growth and catch Top asleep at the wheel to even stand a chance any longer. 3-3 three, three upgrades against 3-3 three, three both sides. Even on upgrades, the only real loser is if you are a building in this game as you will just get taken down very fast. All right, Ultralist now looking to get off some fungal growth. There we go again. Hydralist now getting off some shots here. Siege tanks need to bring up the rear. It looks like they are going to be playing that game of Leapfrog. Moving forward and covering each other. Fungal growth. No, Infested Terrans instead. They all get taken down. And with that, I believe the GG will be coming in momentarily. There it is. Rex gives the GG. Azubu's top takes game one in this series. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening.